this video, we'll take a look at color separating this lizard, which I believe is a chameleon, but I'm not sure. It's got this nice blue in it, and I'm separating in a 12 color mode because I want to be able to really dial into what's going on with this blue as opposed to working in the six color mode. So to get started working from the split view, I'll go to the rows. Now here I have my original. Here's my preview when I do my adjustments. I'll go to the rows. There's nothing there. I can delete that. Magenta, nothing there. Delete that. Go to the violet, nothing there. Delete that. Go to the blue. Now this is interesting. The blue's up here and it's in the black. So I'll just take this and merge into the black. Now here I'll go to the azure. Now the blue's starting to show up. Go to the cyan. And some of that's over into the mint, believe it or not. So I'll take this mint and I'll merge that to the cyan. Then I'll go to the azure and I'll merge that to the cyan. Now I'll take a look at my original. You can see we're very close, right? Here's the original. Here's the preview. Now this is all cyan, but this was a little bit different than the cyan. So I'll go to the cyan over here in the adjustments and I'll bring this back towards the mint just a little bit, not too much. And I'll take a look at my original and I can see I've gone too far back into the green. Let's go back to the cyan and we want to just come up a little bit more here. Take a look at the original and see we're getting closer here. Just a little bit more. I think I went too far back into the mint and the green. And we'll look at the original and we'll come back here and we're going to come back just a hair this way. Take a look at the original. Zoom in here and see where we are. This is more off into the blue and we're too far off into the cyan. So I'd like to come back here and bring this up a little bit more and look at the original. Now I'm pretty much dead on. So it takes care of the blue. Green, we don't have anything. Lime, nothing there. Yellow, nothing there. Orange and red, we have down here, which is in the leaves that have fallen to the ground and died. I'm going to take this red and I'm going to merge that into the orange and then I'm going to change that to an orange. And I'll look at my original. Now I can see we're dealing with an orange. Got a custom color here for the blue, or what was all those blues. We got the black, and we have the white. Go through and check our densities here. That should be acceptable. If I wanted to, I could adjust that and bring that up. Go here to the custom blue. That's really good density. We'll be fine with that in half tones. Go to the black. That should be fine also. So now we've got this down to just two colors, black and white. We could easily print it as a simulated process color print on a four or six color press, depending if we needed the white or not. Making sure to work correctly with our interlocking halftones and doing a little color matching here for this blue custom color that has the blue and a little bit of the mint in it. So we have a very quick easy simulated process color separation coming out of the 12 color mode in the InkSeps app. Working with all of our different options for color and that flexibility that we have in the 12 colors that we don't have in the six colors. Go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.